In this lecture, we are going to test our app. We will use Ganache to build a test account full of test ether, but you could use your real account as well with real ether. We'll use MetaMask to load a wallet, and we'll show our address and our balance on the web app. So first, go to your project folder, and you have to run npm start to start the compilation of the app. This will start your application at localhost port 3000. So you can go to localhost at port 3000, and if you visit it the first time or you refresh, you'll see connect to MetaMask account. You can press that button, and the MetaMask extension will open and your button will change text to log in to MetaMask. So here you have to log into MetaMask. So you can either use an account that you have that is a real account or you can use a test account with Ganache by clicking this button import using secret recovery phrase. So here you can load an account using a secret recovery phrase and that's what I will do here restore my account with a secret recovery phrase then I'm going to open Ganache and Ganache allows me to have a test account with some test ether so all you have to do is install the Ganache app and you have a mnemonic as well as 10 addresses with a hundred ETH each this is all fake ETH but it will work for testing. You can also access keys. So you need to copy this mnemonic and then go back to your browser then open up MetaMask and import using secret recovery phrase. So here we are restore your account with secret recovery phrase. You want to paste in that phrase from Ganache. So this is my phrase for Ganache, which is my test account. You never want to share your real recovery phrase anywhere because then your wallet can be stolen. So you want to make sure if you're showing a recovery phrase, it's from Ganache. It's a test one. And then choose a password. This can be any password and hit restore. Then you'll be prompted to connect with MetaMask to localhost at port 3000. And you can choose which account you want to connect with. These are the 10 accounts from Ganache. Then you can press next and you will get a permissions request to allow the site to view the addresses of your permitted accounts. Press connect and your React app will be connected to MetaMask. You'll also see in MetaMask, your primary account is now that Ganache account and the network that you're on is Ganache. Go back to your app and press log into MetaMask. That will trigger the website to get your account from MetaMask and you will see current account address followed by the address of your account and then you'll see balance in ETH 100. Right, so that is our website at work. We have been able to sign in via MetaMask and then show the main component which displays our account information. So that is how we can build an application to work with Ganache and MetaMask. So we were able to build a React app and we were able to use Web3 in the React app. We used Web3 in order to connect to MetaMask, which allowed us to access an account that had Ethereum. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.